Hello and welcome to Speed Skating Deconstructed, What Makes a Skater Great Today. Contrast in style in the time machine back to 2010 Vancouver. Jeremy Witherspoon was expected to win a gold medal. He didn't. Disappointing finish for him. One of the greatest sprint champions ever. And Motai Bum on the outer who won the gold medal in this distance. In these days they had two 500s and Motai Bum was second in this but overall he was first. So let's look at the start of both these skaters and I want to examine a contrast in styles and also the opening 100 and then the turn style and they're very very different techniques so let's watch this. We've had a lot of comments about we need more start analysis so let's look at this. Okay let's look at position. Both seem really poised ready to go. Jeremy's a little more back on his, he's poised back more on his rear skate. Motai Bum is more on the forward skate and pretty low. Everyone does it differently. The start is so individual. As long as you can make it work and you move forward without lifting up, that's all that matters. Crush against the skate and move forward. Let's see what happens. Gun goes off. You can see Motai Bum is already ahead of Jeremy by like maybe a foot here. How'd that happen? Let's see. Really good drive right here. Watch this skate working against the skate. Com complete extension. I don't use that a lot, but on the start it's important. Extension and complete purchase on that blade. Look at the blade angle there. Let's look at Jeremy here. Slightly slower reaction time. And not as much of an extension and a little more up. So if you watch that again. Watch Motai Bum. Really nice, just clean. You can see that. Not as clean. So Jeremy's a little more tied up early on. And Motai Bum's already after it. Now let's watch from this angle. Look at this knee drive. Classic knee drive. He's not even on the ice yet with this skate and it's already done. He's so early. Early and powerful. Absolutely critical. We've talked about this before. Lateral compression. Look at this great sprinter and he's a great sprinter but here no lateral compression. Boat out knees. More of a hockey player style. And look at the angle of the blade shooting out that way upright drive of the knee is wider and his head is behind his knee look at Motai Bum his head is outside his knee which means he can get greater purchase right away on the skate so that's the difference Jeremy was basically 6'3", 190 huge guy and when you're big you can get, get away with more mistakes than you can when you're smaller and he's a great skater but you can see how splayed this is how much, how much of a gap there is here and there's that gap is not there for Motai Bum and he's much earlier on his pressure over his pressure earlier so let's watch how this hunter unfolds next thing I want to show you is the exit and the first couple corner strokes or straightaway strokes of Motai Bum so talk about getting a draft from a 6 foot 3 190 pound guy for but look at this exit, just absolutely classic. Beautiful exit, a little up and down there from Jeremy. That blade is up and down. Again, you want to set your blades down at even angles. And this is a little late here for Jeremy, but let's look at Motai Bum. Look at the purchase on that blade. Is this broken? It is. Classic style, I would say don't do that. However. The drive forward is so far off this skate, it's so early that watch this. Pure dynamic drive. This is absolutely classic, great speed skating technique. And to do this, you really need to hop off your skate. So get off your blade fast, crush it into the ice, and just toss yourself forward. If you do that, you'll be like Motai Bum here. And look at this incredible line. Look where his eyes are. Look where his blade is. Super dynamic, super powerful, 
all within. He's all within himself. He's not wide. He's not going crazy. He's all within himself. So that's a great, great straightaway stride. Jeremy Witherspoon's more in the middle. Again, he's a bigger guy. He can get away with being more in the middle because he's huge. He's huge and really, really strong and skates really, really well for his body. So let's watch his turn now. I want to show you Motai Bum's turn and Jeremy's turn because Jeremy is really early. His turns are better than his straightaways, in my opinion. Just really nice lines and looking through really early. One skate, you can see one skate, one, one. Watch the skate. When one skate is on, the other one's done. However, Jeremy has a little collapse here. You see this? See that collapse? See this? A little bit late. So if I were Jeremy's coach in those days, I would say, move the emphasis up. You want to move the emphasis up in your push cycle. Don't, don't rely on the end of the push, rely on the beginning. Cut off the end, put it at the beginning. Also, he sits a little high in the turn. Now let's look at Motai Bum. There's no waste here. When his left, watch his left, his right, get on the ice. Look at these blade angles. Incredible. Is there any time? Look at this angle. These angles are in line. That's what you want to do in the corner. You don't want any weird angles and you know bifurcated lines. Just all into the ice at once and look at this blade angle again because he's moving forward you have to move against that skate move forward drop the skate down against that pressure and you got a good line and that's what Motai Bum had here great exit and just gets after it got the gold medal incredible performance over two races so that's the lesson today, just contrast in styles. And you want to be early, you want to push into the ice, you want to move your mass against your pressure. And if you do that and keep one skate on, you'll be a winner. We'll talk to you next time on Speed Skating Deconstructed, What Makes a Skater Great? Later, skater.